Hadi. Hadi. Hadi yürü. Yürü. <gülüyor> Sunday evening, I'm recording this using the last rays of light, so I'll be brief. I don't have any new material uh, for the weekend, but I thought that why don't I tell another story of our rescue days in Turkey. And uh, I was thinking what to tell you, and I just re I have a very good one. Now listen to this. Um, years ago, when we were rescuing in, in Turkey, many of the dogs that we were rescuing were Kangals, Anatolian Shepherds. These are incredible, beautiful, magnificent dogs. It's unbelievable. Here are some images. They are massive, white. They are very protective of the flock. They are, um, they are amazing dogs for the families and just, just really wonderful dogs. The problem is that the Turkish population, they, they consider this to be the national dog. So there is, a, there is a big sense of pride when they speak about Kangals. It's just like, whoosh, the Turkish dog, yeah. Wow, it's, 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 it's a national dog. It's the most important dog we have. The problem is that they treat those dogs like garbage. It's unbelievable. Yeah, they speak of them like if they were like near mythical animals, but the, the reality is that they treat them so badly, so badly. You see them dying by the sides of the roads, you see them, you know, disposed in villages like broken dolls. It's just terrible. So, and they, there are very, very, very few adoptions. So when somebody adopted a Kangal, it was usually to, you know, lock him in some garage or tie him in chains to a tree and use him as a security dog. The problem is that those dogs go crazy when you tie them to a tree. So we used to rescue a lot of Kangals. There were very few adoptions in Turkey and we didn't know what to do with them. Now many of those dogs were mixed breeds. They were not pure. So, ah, by the way, and on top of it, there is a regulation that says that Kangals cannot be exported. They cannot leave the country. So we couldn't send them to Germany, we couldn't send them anywhere because they would be blocked in customs. Many of them were, were mixed breeds, so we will just put in the passport uh, mix, mixed dog, mixed Labrador, whatever, and we never had any problems. But one day we rescued the most incredible dog I had ever seen. It was huge, it was massive, white, with a huge head. I mean, if there was ever a pure Kangal, that was the one. So we had no family for him, and we had somebody in Germany that wanted to adopt him. Oh, no, it was Austria. It was Austria. But now, how do we get this dog out of here? I mean, so big. You can't say that it's a mix. Uh, the vets at the municipality, they will realize that it's, it's a Kangal, and they will not let you take the dog out. So we're thinking what to do, what to do. And I came up with the greatest idea. Why don't we turn him into something else? Why don't we paint him like a, like a zebra? Why not? So if they, if they stop us, we will just say, look, excuse me, but Kangals are white. Look at this dog. He has all kinds of stripes and everything. Well, <sighs> so I, I got together with my friend, went to a supermarket and bought uh, put a ton of hair dye, what people used to dye their hairs. And we turned this dog into something else. It wasn't a zebra because the stripes were not, I mean, it was a disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster, poor dog. If he had any sense of pride in him, he lost it that day. He ended up looks, looking like a, I mean, I don't have pictures of him, and that's the bad part of this video because I can't, don't, I cannot really show you how it looked. But uh, it was something like this, really crazy. So anyway, in the end, we we managed to to get the dog into into Austria, and uh, the people at the municipality, when they saw him like this, they just didn't know what to say. So we just looked like, look, I'm sorry, but it's a weird dog and they kind of believed it, I don't know what they thought. So the dog went to Austria 
and he had a great life. I'm really happy about the way that ended up. Anyway, here are some images of the of our past years in Turkey, our rescues there, the things we used to do. We are at the airport with this incredible dog, Blue Bird, and he is flying to, to Germany today. Blue Bird was rescued from one of the worst shelters in the world, here in Turkey, of course. And uh, he had this temper, and he had kennel calf, and he had everything. But he's very well, he recovered wonderfully, and he's now going to to be in Germany for a few months until he can do his final uh, trip to England. Who cares? And he is flying today to Frankfurt. Hey! Look who's coming! Hey, man! Cool! We're here. How's the trip? He's so happy here. He's got three or four kids and a dog to play. And he's just doing so great. <laughs> he's such a natural. This dog will do well anywhere he goes. He's been here for five minutes and look at him. It's incredible. Searching for steady ground. A place to settle down. No reasons left. Well, this is the life he was born for. This is how it was supposed to be. Look what we have here. Again dumped in the biggest shit hole place in the whole of this country and look at this it's a beautiful boxer he's obviously very very friendly he doesn't know what the hell he's doing here in this shit look at this shit everywhere I mean, it's just like shit is the define like defining factor in the whole of the thing it's shit everywhere and, and it's a beautiful, beautiful doggy. He's been, they've cut his, his ears to make him look like a, like a ferocious bulldog, but he's nothing but a friendly boxer. He just wants to play. And just wants to play. Look at this, look at this. Shit everywhere. It's disgusting, really disgusting. Here to to get to get one dog we found the first of four. Man, man, man! I'm gonna get you out of here. Beautiful, beautiful dog, beautiful dog. And this dog, for sure, belonged to a Turkish man. You know, he felt masculine for a few months. And then got rid of the dog. Poor animal. Poor guy. Okay. Hey! How are we gonna call you? We're gonna call him. I don't know. Rod. How about that? Yep. Super Rod. As you've seen, we go back a long way 
there's been thousands of animals saved that went from living in total misery to having wonderful lives and beautiful families. But I cannot do all of this without you. I need you. So please, if you can, consider becoming one of my sponsors. There's a link down below that will take you to a Patreon page. You can go there, you can select the level of support you wanna give me, and you can truly become part of this rescue. Thanks a lot for being here. Please join me on Patreon. Thank you.